Um, I think the big thing is uh, just we had a close scrimmage, so just trying to get better from what we saw uh, there. I think we got to uh, get better defensively, uh, work on uh, just trying to make sure that we're uh, in proper rotation and uh, in help. And uh, I just want to see the excitement. Uh, the first time they're going to get a chance to uh, play in front of our home crowd. And I know it's exhibition game, but I think it's what it's all about, um, just getting, uh, you know, for the freshmen to have the opportunity to get out there and kind of get their nerves out in front of everybody and uh, just uh, let the girls uh, get out and, and compete and have fun because uh, I know they're tired of playing against each other. And uh, so I think they're all looking forward to getting out there. Do you approach it like a normal game? Or is it Definitely. Two? Normal game. Um, we will uh, do everything that we do for a normal game situation um, and uh, just get them prepared and ready because uh, the, real, the real thing happens on next Friday. So uh, I think that... Uh, We've always done it that way, and, and we'll continue to keep doing it that way. Do you treat the entire week like a game week preparation, or is it just that day is whenever you'll get sort of acclimated to what's going on? Um, I just think the, the whole week. I think we prepare it to, uh, because I want them to get a feel of what uh, the week would be like when we play, uh, you know, on a Friday or a Saturday. Uh, so I think the biggest thing we try to do is just make sure that we're looking at, uh, you know, time and situation with uh, practice times and, uh, you know, we're putting in the things that we need to and working on the things we have to during, during that week. You know, you usually pay a lot of attention to preseason stuff, but receiving votes in the top 25, uh, does that really mean for where this program is uh, You know, I think it means a lot. I think it, uh, if you said, you know, three years ago that, you know, we'd be receiving votes in the, you know, top 25 and, you know, some of those polls. And, uh, you know, I, I think that what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get better each and every day. Uh, looking forward to having the opportunity to compete. And I, I think, but I also uh, think it says a lot uh, for the players that have been uh, invested these past couple of years and the things that they've done and, and you know, that other people, uh, some of the coaches and different people uh, have recognized, the media have recognized that the, the things that they've done. Um, I think it'll, it'll be determined, um, but I think that, uh, you know, Tasia's worked really, really hard and uh, put herself in a position where uh, she's right up there. I think, uh, you know, that, that'll that probably be uh, something that we decide in a day or so, but I think uh, as of now, um, I think we'll probably – We'll probably end up going with that rotation, but it just depends because I think each and every day uh, we're in a situation where the players continue to keep getting better. And I think that's the greatest thing about being a coach is uh, what you talk to them about is being able to work hard each and every day and uh, get to a, a certain point. What we've always harped about as a staff and talked to them about is uh, getting in the top eight or top nine. And uh, if you get to that, that point, then you know you're going to have the opportunity to play in, in our system. Yeah, uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, you know, uh, we were really, really excited when Crystal got to come back to our game here in Diddle. I know the girls were. Uh, you know, I'm also uh, really good friends with Chancellor Dugan. I know her and been knowing her for a long time. Uh, so I'm excited for Crystal. Uh, you know, when I talk, spoke with her, she talked about wanting to have her players be able to experience this atmosphere. And so I'm really excited and uh, looking forward to uh, just talking with her before. And uh, she's, I think, really excited about uh, coaching. And I, think, I know she's excited to come back here because this is home for her. Uh, I think uh, we have a good indication of some of the where some of those top players are, but we're going to continue to keep evaluating every day. Uh, it's going to be any given time, any given situation. It's going to depend on uh, you know the teams that we play, uh, personnel, and a lot of other different things too. That's the way we've always coached, and that's the way we will. Um, you know, we've talked a lot about chemistry. Uh, and having the chemistry on the floor and uh, playing the best five that play together and uh, then being able to work in rotations that way. So we're just excited to be able to uh, bring in three freshmen that we think that will have an opportunity and a chance to be able to get some minutes and, and play some significant minutes for us.